Well, welcome back from the break. We are still bringing education and building opportunity for leadership and development. You have missed a lot if you just joined us. We looked at chosen rehab, bullhorn recycling. And uh, that's about it. But we're going to be taking it on right now. What is going to happen? We're moving away from that whole sort of, you know, more helping the world kind of stories to a young lady who is actually very assertive. Now, if you've ever heard the song, Guinness, Rice, Rice Kebab, finish. finish, you will know who she is. Her name is Miss Porsche. Guinness rice kebab finish. Guinness rice kebab finish. Guinness rice kebab finish. Gonna ma be a cheap papa. Guinness rice kebab finish. Guinness rice kebab finish. Guinness rice kebab finish. Gonna ma be a fool papa. I refuse to be living on them hands out. I pay for my own to me me how. Easy come easy go punches out. Flow so dope see they love me child. Alright today we're joined on the Be Bold show with by Miss Porsche. Porsche, who is an artist, some of you know her for her famous single, Guinness Rice Kebab Finish. Very exciting and amazing song. And we're here at Bella Roma with Mish Porsche herself. Thank you very much for joining us on the show. You're welcome. Yeah, so how did you start this industry? How did you get into the music industry in the first place? Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, music has always been my passion. I started writing raps and doing raps? these. Yeah. Wow. And doing these Guinness Rice Kebab is a rap. I mean, song. yes, it's it yeah. true. true. So, is that what you always wanted to do since you were a little girl? You grew up thinking you wanted to be a singer in the future? No, actually, I wanted to be a model, and I've accomplished that. And I realized I could rap, I could sing, so I put that, added that too. also. Yeah. yeah. So, what did you study in university or in, in school? I'm still in university. Yeah, I'm doing business administration. And how, why? Why business? Why not go into um, music or something else that relates to your career? Well, um, you know, everything has to go with business. I'm into showbiz, show business. So, yeah, I need to have a bit of a business background. So. Well, that's a good idea. Especially yeah. when you have your own line somewhere, you can manage your own brand, you can start you know, with your single coming out and everything. Of course, let's talk about that, your single finish. Guinness Rice Kebab Finish. What is that all about? Well, you know right now on the scene, we have so many females relying on men for, you know, petty things, um, prostitutes and stuff out, who just give in to men you know, by these little things, Guinness, rice, kebab, you know, small things get them food. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. And also, it's supposed to inspire females to also get education and, you know, get a business going, earn some money so they can't rely on men for these little things. So that's how you came up with the song? Yeah. You're just sitting at home, Guinness, rice, kebab, finish. <laughs> <laughs> and Guinness, by Guinness, you mean more? Yeah, right. Because well, I, I was any, like, any we don't really drink Guinness. That women and I mean Ghanaian women, I don't know of them really drinking Guinness. But oh, most like Guinness. Yeah. With rice and kebab. Well, you know, <laughs> with a meal. <laughs> with a meal. Do you? No, I don't drink Guinness. Okay, okay. Wow. Well, anyways, it's a, it's a really touching song. I mean, when we heard it, we were very excited. Like, what, what, what does this girl mean? What is she saying? You know. So eventually, <laughs> you describing what you're, where you're trying to go with it. Also, you know, put things in context mm -hmm. with being materialistic. A lot of women are just materialistic and they yeah. try and get certain things. So, and with you take, you know, going for your dreams, getting your business degree, and going forward, it's, it's already a huge inspiration to a lot of people. Yeah. Now. All of a sudden, you became famous. How are you handling that? Well, I'm not at the top yet, and I'm learning from the other females in the business. Yeah, and it's going well. But you're, you're handling, you're okay with all the men coming up to you and trying to get your number and all that stuff. <laughs> How are you handling all that? You don't really fans. pay much attention to them. Yeah, fans, yeah. So how cool. do you respond to your fans? Chat with them on Facebook and BBM, yeah. Wow. Now, can you, you told us before that you're into modeling and you actually accomplished that modeling. Can you tell us a bit about that, your modeling career? Yeah, um, photo modeling, not runway modeling. I've done um, adver advertisements for Zepto and Melcom. 
and just Malcolm and that. Yeah, those are the big bands. Okay, Definitely but what was Malcolm. that? What was that like for you? The, new, the, the career that you had in modeling. How has it been? And the challenges you face. Is it easy? I hear mod people that are in the mod like models. They don't get paid enough. They always mm -hmm. complaining about different things. So tell me more about that. Well, I started off doing runway as all the models do in Ghana, but then you know it doesn't really pay off properly like in the UK and then the US. So I concentrated myself on doing photo modeling, which was paying off better than the runway that is most common here. A lot of people think also models are just um, not serious. They're, you know, go a lot of sleeping around, a lot of um, just trying to get out there and all the wrong and unnecessary means. What, what can you say about that? Is that the case? Well, most of the girls who do those, you know, uncultured things, use modeling to hide it but then look at me the song guinness rice kebab finish and i'm in school so i don't think it's like that for every model out there i know many who are in school as well yeah so it's, not, it's, it's a stereotype you know they say it you're mm -hmm. a living example that is not the case now are there any challenges you face in your music career as well I've worked with a couple of producers and, you know, had bad times with them. Some of them trying to pull you down, taking your music and not producing it properly and you paying them and all of that, but <laughs> I got through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when you miss Porsche, who, what inspires you? What's your target audience? And what's the message you're trying to get out there to Ghanaian? Well, I'm trying to inspire the women, females, not only in Ghana, but then all over the world to be better people. And then I'm inspired by Lauren Hill, Foxy Brown, self. Yeah. A lot of these people you mentioned are all feminists. Are you a feminist then? Yeah, yeah. To what extent? Well, I believe men and women should be equal around the house. You know, men should do the chores as well as women, you know. and. Uh, we should get the same pay at workplaces because we all have the same degree. That's if we have the same, you know, degree. We're on the same educational level. We should. Yeah. So you're like a full-blown feminist, <laughs> and that's also going to then reflect in your songs, I presume. Yeah. Now there are a lot of girls out there that want to be just like you and you know follow your footsteps. What advice do you have for them? Well, um, as a woman, you need to do what you want to do. If you have the passion for, for something, I feel you should just go for it. No matter what anyone says, you know, you have the drive and then you have faith in what you're doing. Just go for it, like I did. And that's it? Yeah. Any words to your fans out there? Yeah. Have faith in what you're doing and keep on doing what you're doing. Make it work for you. Rice kebab. I love, I love the, the 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 lyrics and the songs and you know I think the message behind yeah, it. it that's what's you, important. It makes you think about, especially for the young women in Ghana out there. What is it that you want? Is it the materialistic life? Do you want the clothes, the, the car, the, the, the bags? Life? And what are you willing to give up for it? Because, mm -hmm. you know. I integrity. Yeah. That's one thing that's really important. You need to maintain that. Like, you need to work to make the money. Because then another thing, too, is you, you get the money and you don't know how to spend it. You just spend it on, on useless things. Yeah. If you're making money, that really, and tre no, that bill is yours. Trust me, you'll not be buying some of those that's things true. because you're... you're income hasn't reached that level yet yeah. you know so i think people need to really put that in perspective women especially yeah. it's think not about your ultimate goal what is mm -hmm. it you want your future do you want to be doing stuff for yourself or depending on somebody for the rest of your life to get you bags and and shoes and so forth but hey we're not judging Gin no. miss porsche has <laughs> said it all something to so think about something to think <laughs> about well at this point let's take a break we'll be back with a day in the life of i'm not going to give that away you'll find out more after the break mm -hmm. 